Cheese, cheese, cheese. Namaste, you little punks. Neckerchiefs, scarfs, bandanas. Whatever you want to call them, you have to admit, pretty underrated fashion accessories. So long story short, I bought this Sanjeev scarf a while ago with no real intention really. I just thought it looked cool and I wanted to pad out the basket to support the homie and thought it might come in handy for something. Well, that time has come. Recently, I've been seeing a small influx of people styling these bandanas, neckerchiefs, scarves, like, we're gonna have a problem with the names here. So I thought to give it a go for myself and I wasn't convinced at first, but when I configured it in a way that suited my style, it actually slaps. I don't know whether this trend is gonna stick around long enough to make a dent in the fashion community, but what I will say is I am actually having a lot of fun with it. It just adds a layer to your outfits that you didn't really know you needed. It's a versatile accessory, which for the most part is very affordable. So today I just wanted to share some of my hotcakes on the matter. So without further ado, how to style bandanas, neckerchiefs, scarves, I still don't know what to call them the scout knot so the traditional neckerchief style is quite versatile in itself like you can have it tight looking very breakfast at tiffany's or loosen it up to achieve maximum boy scout in my opinion it's a solid deep vintage look that somehow always looks better on dogs for some reason but this scout knot that's what i'm calling it is a very easy but staple way to style a neckerchief personally i would recommend using like a large sized bandana like the sand scarf to achieve the meta result. So here's how to do it. You would take your bandana and fold it into a triangle and then you're gonna fold or roll both sides until they meet in the middle and then you would fold them into each other. Now place the bandana around your neck and for the proper breakfast at Tiffany's look, take one side somewhere close to the neck and then make a loop about two fingers wide and then make a little knot. Then you would take the other side of the bandana poke it through the loop and then tighten it against your neck. Make it comfortable, but don't like choke yourself. And then you can take both sides of the bandana and even them out. But for the proper Boy Scout look, like the one I'm wearing now, ooh, do everything the same. Fold and place the scarf around the neck. But this time, take one side just below the shoulder, I would say. Make a loop, knot, and tighten it so it doesn't come undone easily. Personally, I really like this look, especially with something as colorful as the sand Jeep scarf and putting it against something flat or minimal really makes it pop and just adds a little flair to an outfit. The cowboy rancher. So I remember watching this one YouTube video of this cowboy rancher horse whisperer guy using his bandana for manly manly purposes and the one thing I really liked the idea of was using a bandana for protection from the sun. Fashionable and functional, big man. But it's the kind of thing you do when you realize you haven't got enough space for sun cream in your Comme des Garcons bag. So compromises have to be made, I guess. This one is just super easy to do. Like all I did was fold this into a triangle, place it onto the head, and then throw the hat on top, sealing the flavors. And now we are ready to achieve that pseudo ASAP Rocky babushka type look. Ah, oh, yeah, that's fashion, bro. In my opinion, I would think this would look 10 times better with a trucker hat, but we don't have one of those yet. So just a normal baseball cap or a dad cap would do just as well. Like, you know, it doesn't look completely ridiculous, but a trucker hat will make it look better. But really, the good thing about this is that your sides and your neck are protected from the sun. All you've got to do now is throw on a pair of sunglasses and your sun defense stats will increase dramatically. The scarf bag accessory. So this is something that is so simple yet so effective. Up until now, I never really thought there was a way to jazz up my tote bag without resorting to badge pins or patches. But how wrong was you, big man? I don't know who came up with it first or where it came from, but this trend kind of reminds me of those little ribbons you would put on suitcases at the airport so you know which one's yours immediately at baggage claim. Fun free little life hack for you there as well. But do we really need a reason to further personalize our tote bags? If you want to achieve this for yourself, there isn't really much to this. I just fold the scarf into a triangle, fold both sides meet in the middle as if you were doing a scout knot, but just take 
take your bag, grab a handle, and just tie a knot around it. Tutorial completed. You'll get your certificate in the post. It's got kind of a flow to it when you walk, like your tote bag is wearing a cape. It definitely adds plus one style points to your bag. It stands out. It isn't too much trouble to customize, like you can switch out different scarves on your bag. It's just easy. Use as a belt. Personally, I'm not 100% convinced on this one. So for this, I would perform the same triangle and roll, then just feed it through your belt loops until you have both ends on each side, then just tie a knot, I guess. Maybe tie it into a little bow, I don't know. But that's the look and I've seen a couple of people use this. I mean, I think this would look good if you're going for a more flamboyant aesthetic or if you wanted to dress something down or look pseudo classy. It does look like it requires a certain and look to achieve its full potential. The bandit bandana. The OG 2007 hoodlum way of wearing a bandana. Like you would see a rapper wear this on MTV and then think that Bloods and Crips are more like football teams rather than gang affiliations. I don't really mind this one and is a good stand-in if you don't want or have jewelry as part of your outfit. As far as I know, this one is a super simple procedure. Literally just fold it into a triangle, place it around around your neck, take the two long ends of the bandana and just tie a knot. And then you can take these two ends to adjust the bandana to make it tighter. You can also hide it to make it look cleaner or you can leave these ends out for just, you know, maximum scarf, I guess. Oh my God, it kind of looks like a baby's bib now that I'm looking at it in the viewfinder here. But if you want it to sit in place a little bit better, then just tie another knot around the back. You can even make it into a makeshift scarf by doing the exact same procedure around your face and now you've got a makeshift mask. So if you want to look like you're about to hold up a bank from the Wild West or the LV store today, they call me the Hype Beast Bandit. Put everything in the Supreme Louis Vuitton bag. That's the look you want to go for. Then tightly knot this around your face. The Y2K bandana. If you have male pattern baldness, then maybe we should talk about this Y2K bandana aesthetic. In my opinion, bandana headwear just gives me Y2K hot girl summer vibes or fashion pirate, especially with a scarf like this, because I've got so much scarf in the back kind of looks like I've got a ponytail. Oh no, now I look like the girl with the pearl earring. It's just very hard to shake this pirate aesthetic. So there are a few ways to do these bandanas. So to achieve the Y2K bandana, it's a very easy maneuver. All you have to do is fold your bandana into a triangle, put it over your head upside down so it's pointing upwards towards the sky or ceiling. I don't know if you're indoors or outdoors. Let the top of the bandana flop over your head. Then you take both of the long ends, make sure it's fairly tight around your head as you bring it to the back of your head then you tie a knot over the bit of bandana which is on top of your head adjust it accordingly and then do a safety knot just to put it all in place another way to tie this bandana around your head is to fold it into a triangle thin that bad boy out put it on your forehead again position your hair on top of the bandana not underneath it tie a knot around the back and now you can look like the karate kid madness you're welcome <laughs> How to style bandanas. So I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I think that we have just scratched the surface when it comes to styling scarves, bandanas, neckerchiefs, whatever. So what I'm gonna do is throw in a bunch of tutorials for scarves, bandanas, neckerchiefs that I found personally interesting. So if this trend intrigues you, then follow the rabbit hole in the description below. But honestly, I think this is a really interesting trend. I never actually thought I would be doing anything with scarves fashion wise like at first I didn't think it was my style I didn't think it would fit into my aesthetic but when I actually sat down and tried I was pleasantly surprised so it just goes to show that good things can happen when you step out of your comfort zone let me know in the chat if you've had any experience with styling scarves or bandanas are they your style can you not just get them to work share some stories with the community if you like what you saw today then give it a like share this video with your friends and if you want to see more of what I do, who, me, then press that little subscribe button and that little bell notification if you want to get notified when I upload a new video. That's where I'm going to end it today. So thank you for watching my video. You guys are the best and I will see you in the next one. Cheese!